And let me say this. Men's college basketball is down. Women's college basketball is kind of doing its thing. Uh, Shouts out to UConn. They they look incredible. South Carolina, South Carolina still looks incredible. You know, the usuals when we talk about women's college basketball are looking really good. Uh, of course, the inconsistency that is college basketball right now as terms of scheduling and who you're going to play, who you're not going to play, which game is going to get canceled, which game is not. I understand. But moving back to the men's side, the one, the, the seating kind of, you know, the mock seating, whatever came out last week. And the first, the, the top four or the, the yeah, top four regional number one seeds, they're not really, you know, we kind of knew who it would be, which was Gonzaga, who was the overall number, number one, Baylor, Michigan, and Ohio State. While college basketball has been inconsistent, those four have been the most consistent, even though Gonzaga, Gonzaga, to me, Gonzaga and Baylor in a class of their own, and then it's everyone else. So I was going to... I was going to talk about what dark horses could upset them. Now, there are some teams that could upset them. Now, usually when we talk about dark horses, we'll talk about teams that might not be in the top, I don't know, 10. Talk about teams that probably close to the 20 or 15 to 20 range. Maybe a team the last in or, you know, those are usually dark horses. However, this year, I don't see anybody outside the top 10 like, I think the March Madness will be hellish. Like, I don't see any upsets except for maybe like four beaten five or uh, eight beaten 10 or something like that. I, 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 or 10 beaten eight. I don't see many upsets as far as like huge upsets. I don't really see that. And I don't really see. And when I say upsets, I mean the top four. I don't see really anybody beating the top four. However, when I do say dark horses, I think Texas Tech, you know, Matt McClung and, and or McClung and those, I, I think they can make some noise. I don't think they can be Gonzaga. I definitely don't think they can be Baylor. I think they can give Michigan and Ohio State a run, but I don't know. I think Texas, uh, Texas is incredible when it comes to shooting the ball. Now, Texas is live by the three, die by the three. Oh, no, let me say this. Live by their offense, die by their offense. If their offense is on fire, they're they're damn near unstoppable if their offense is not however they are horrible <laughs> so i or not gonna say horrible but they're definitely beatable uh and they're they're, they're like i said their defense kind of thrives on how good their offense is in virginia virginia is a confident team and virginia has one of the best defensive team or is one of the best defensive teams in all the college uh now of course like like Everyone else in the in college basketball, they have been a little turbulent as far as wins and losses. Just like what Villanova has kind of been turbulent as well. But I don't really see a dark horse this year. Uh, as far as like a, I don't see a Loyola, whatever beating beating a big team, or I don't see a a hell, I don't see a blue blood really making, except for maybe Michigan, like making a making noise. So. Yeah, man, it's it's just been a tough year for college basketball. It really has, and you know it it shows. It shows, but. Mm-hmm.